I have a lot of questions about exactly what uh, happened here. Trooper Richard Allen is uh, on the phone with us. Good morning, Trooper Allen. Good morning. All right, so can you tell us uh, exactly what happened here this morning? We understand it happened right before 5 o'clock. Yeah, as far as we know at this point, uh, we started receiving calls uh, approximately 10 minutes to 5 this morning, and it involved a collision involving two cars, both which rolled and are currently on their tops. Uh, one individual is still missing. We had conflicting reports, some saying that he was walked off, some saying that he's possibly ejected into the water. Uh, so that search is ongoing. The driver that remained on scene has been arrested for suspicion of DUI. Okay, uh, can I ask you further about that recovery search? Because you said that there's just conflicting information about where this person could be at this point. I mean, what, what do we know about this? That's that's the difficult thing. It's with the conflicting reports. We we don't know if the individual potentially walked off into the city or if they were ejected. Uh, as it sits, we need to treat it as they were ejected until we can ensure that the person is safe, which is obviously what we hope for. Okay, so that that dive that recovery mission is still happening in the water at this point, or or is it is it called off? What, what do we know about that part? From what I from what I understand, it's still ongoing. Um, so far, uh, Harbor Patrol has arrived on the scene, but have not found anything yet, and the investigation is still ongoing. So we can see uh, some officials on the bridge right now, looking out onto the water from that uh, high span of the Ship Canal Bridge. Um, so, so from your perspective, what exactly happened? Were these two cars racing? Were they driving along? What What do we know about that? Uh, that I, I don't have information of the vehicle's um, patterns ahead, ahead of the collision. At least one was traveling at a high rate of speed. Uh, you can, it's probably safe to say um, if both of them were going to flip. It's, it's not very common that both vehicles flip and roll onto their top. Um, yeah. I don't have good information about the, the driving patterns before the collision. Yeah, I mean, it's it's wild video. I mean, we're, we're taking a look at those cars that you're talking about right there. Both of those are flipped over at this point. Um, so when we talk about the traffic, I mean, of course, this is more this is the morning commute. Uh, this is southbound I-5. This is a major, you know, this is the thoroughfare into the city. Uh, what is the latest, <clears throat> excuse me, on this investigation? And, and if we're, you know, when we're going to get this road back open? Uh, we're hoping to get a lane open as soon as we can conclude some of the investigation on the actual Interstate I-5 right there on the ship canal to hopefully alleviate some of the pressure. Right now, um, traffic is being diverted to the 50th, 45th, and the express lanes southbound are open. Uh, it's going to be undetermined at this point. It's hard to really nail down some, with something like this because we have to make sure we collect as much evidence as completely possible and treat it as a as a as it needs to be treated and then hopefully once we get as much documented as we can we can start to again like i said open up at least maybe a lane or two and start to alleviate some of that pressure all right trooper richard allen thank you so much for your time and uh we continue to take a look at that horrible crash a two-car crash one driver arrested on the scene for dui the other driver we don't know what uh, happened to that driver so that is the big question this morning